Hello, welcome to the weekly technical analysis review for Monday, February 24th. I'm Rafi Bajan at XM.com and the pairs we're going to be look, looking at for this week are the dollar yen, the euro yen and the dollar CAD. So let's start first with the dollar yen pair, uh, looking at the short term picture. Uh, both the stochastics and the RSI are in bullish territory, though uh, we are seeing increasing risks of uh, downside correction with the bearish crossover with, between the percentage K and the percentage D lines uh, and the RSI slipping below uh, overbought uh, territory. Uh, prices after that Friday drop have stabilized uh, today. Uh, we did see uh, that uh, rally from last week stalling just below the 200% Fibonacci extension of the downlink from 110.28 to 108.30. Uh, so that resistance came in at 112 point 26 uh, at the moment uh, the immediate resistance is around 161.8 percent fibonacci at 111.50 uh, but the bulls could potentially uh, meet uh, another hurdle at, 100, uh, at the 112 level uh, before uh, test retesting the 112.26 level and then above that uh, we do have that April peak of uh, 112.39 from uh, last year if all of those uh, barriers are cleared uh, we could then see euro yen uh, sorry dollar yen uh, resuming uh, its uh, uptrend uh, which has picked up steam uh, in the past week or so uh, if uh, we do see a continued loss of momentum uh, then prices could seek support at just above the 111 uh, handle uh, which is the 138.2 percent Fibonacci extension uh, slightly lower we have the 123.6 percent Fibonacci at 110.75 uh, but if we were to see sharper declines uh, the uh, the levels to watch are the 20 and 50 day moving averages uh, at 109.86 and 109.53 which also correspond uh, with those Fibonacci levels uh, so if, especially if there is a drop below 109.53 that could put in question uh, the bullish outlook in the medium term. Next, let's turn to the euro yen pair. Uh, we did see um, that uh, big jump uh, last week, uh, and at prices uh, did uh, are at the moment being capped by the 50 day moving average and the bottom of the Ichimoku cloud. Uh, that's around 121, uh, though prices did spike above uh, that resistance level they were unable to close above it so we need to see close above 121 uh, in order for euro yen uh, to uh, pick up a more sustained uh, upside momentum uh, with the next barrier potentially coming at 121.85 so that's been a congested area in the past and higher up is the 38.2 percent fibonacci uh, retracement of that long-term downtrend uh, from 2018 uh, to 2019 uh, so that uh, does come in uh, at 122.45 uh, and then not too far above that is uh, the peak uh, from uh, back in January of 122.86 uh, which if broken uh, it would put the pair back in a more uh, bullish picture at the moment we're seeing the bullish picture uh, turning uh, neutral uh, and uh, if we see uh, the uh, the picture turning negative in the short term uh, which could happen happen because the percentage K line has uh, reversed lower uh, and although the MACD has climbed above its uh, red signal line it is still in negative territories so of still some downside risks uh, immediate support should come at 100 uh, actually at the moment prices are hovering around the 200 day moving average at 120.35 uh, but if that uh, if we do see downside pressure uh, the immediate level to watch uh, is 119.93 to 23.6 percent of Fibonacci lower down we have 119.25 a previous swing low uh, and then below that is that four months low of 118.45 from uh, earlier this month uh, which uh, if breached uh, could put the pair uh, put the pair uh, on a um, in a, in, in, a neg in a bearish mode uh, in the medium term as well and finally looking at uh, dollar cad uh, long term picture is still uh, very much uh, neutral uh, in the short term uh, we are seeing some positive momentum stochastics are pointing upwards rsi is also climbing though it's still fairly close to the 50 neutral uh, level uh, if we do see uh, that uh, upside momentum picking up 
uh, some steam. Uh, we're likely to see a resistance again at 1.3325, uh, which we can see uh, has um, held uh, for the past uh, six uh, months or so. Uh, above that, we've got a couple of um, previous highs, 1.3382 from September last year and 1.3431 from June. Uh, if those are broken, uh, that could potentially shift the uh, long-term neutral picture to a bullish one. For now, though, uh, it's that's still uh, some uh, distance away. Uh, immediate support, if we do see downside correction, a downside move uh, could come initially at the 20-day moving average, average at 1.3252. Not too far below is the 200-day one at 1 1.3212, uh, and then uh, below that, the 50-day at 1.3149. Uh, the key level, though, to watch, uh, if, we got, if that could put the neutral picture at risk and uh, in danger of turning bearish, is 1.3030. So that's, uh, that had held uh, several times uh, in the past uh, before we, had, we saw that dip uh, uh, last late last year, uh, which uh, took the pair down as low as 1.2951. Uh, so uh, if 1.3030 was to fail, then we could see an acceleration uh, in the downside moves. So that's it from me. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.